How do you recruit a new agent in the final expense business? My name's Ron Powell, and I wanted to share just a few minutes of what I think is important when you're recruiting someone. Their first test to me is, will you have that individual come over to your home and have dinner with you and your family? If you won't have that individual come over to your home, don't hire them. That's number one. It's pretty simple. It, if you're gonna work with someone a lot, you're gonna be around them a lot, you would have them over to your house if you really was going to invest in them and help them become successful. You know, how do you recruit? What do you say? Uh, what's the right person? What's the right age? Is it male or female? Is it Hispanic, African-American? There's all kinds of ifs and buts and whats. The bottom line is, you have to explain to that individual exactly what it's going to take. Take that individual in the field with you and work one day so they know exactly what we do and how we do it. And they see it firsthand. And over an eight hour period in the car or a 10 hour period in the car, you learn a lot about that individual. And you also teach that individual a lot. Sometimes it's gonna be a great day for myself and sometimes it's gonna be a great day for the agent. What I mean by that, is I do not ever want to make this look too simple and too easy. I have that happen sometimes, and sometimes that individual thinks that it's just going to be that easy for them. But they got to remember, I've got 30 plus years selling final expense policies. And yes, I can make it look easy. I can make it look simple. And it can be simple and easy for you if you would spend the time that it takes to become successful. If you had talked to enough agents, if you had hired enough agents, if you will work with enough agents. Every day you get better and better and better to where at some point you've about perfected it. No, you can never perfect it because you can never look inside someone and see what they want and what their burning desire is. But that's why I vet that person out. I take them in the field. I listen to them during that day that I'm out in the field. I watch them, they watch me. And what you've done then is you've cut out a lot of the unnecessaries that if someone doesn't really understand what we do. During that day, I talked to them about how we pay, the benefits, the lead program, slice, leads the way. I talked to them all day long, but I'll find out in that day if you're the right person. And you'll find out if that person's going to follow you and can you lead them. And if you can't invest in them or you're not willing to invest in them, don't hire them. It's that simple. Don't hire someone that you're not willing to invest in. Senior life, all your life.